Oh, cute. And you're not sleeping in this place, don't you, eh? Puss, puss, puss. G'day viewers, I've got a day off today, so I'm gonna give this old beacon a test. There's an old Heller, German raid. Try and get the party hit the model number. Nice uh, clip that come down, try and clips it. Okay, the model KL710, made in Germany. 55 watt, 12 volt bulb, H1. That's a bulb it takes. It's all intact, too. Yeah, the little contacts, they just seem to be alright, not too bad, they're dirty. Bit of wear on there though. Good quality stuff, the belts on the motor are good. But the motor won't bloody turn, there you go. Alright, let's give this thing a test. Needs a bit of a clean up. Well, these are better than the old uh, mechanical, uh, better than the old, um, the newer ones which have a, a strobe. It's a flashing strobe, which is a camera flash circuit, and they're good to um, zap things with, which I haven't got one of those unfortunately to play around with, but I still like these old mechanical ones better. Alright, oh, let's power it up and give it a test, and the O-ring's all gone to crap. So let's give it a test. Okay, let's power it up. Power on. Let's put the alligator clip on. Give it a test of that it's a uh, cover. Got this bloody fridge temperature controller housing just as a to house the transformer. Just so it holds everything in place. Put the lens back on. Wow. Pretty good. I want an LED light would be in, uh, light it would be like in this, nice and bright. Seems to work okay. Bright though. Seems to run quite well. They're a bit warm, but the H1 is a what did I say it was? I think it was a 55 watt, 55 watt um, bulb. So. Let's draw a little bit of power. Okay, have yours though. This is another um, lettuce and gyro type switch. Type SR1Z 15.1. Number 977937. Tier 30 volt, 15 amp, 50 hertz. Made in Switzerland. This is a genuine lettuce and gyro. This is probably from the, I'd say, probably from the 40s, judging by the styling of it quality glass um, display window, little steel case, put this copper plaque on it, property of the State Electricity Commission of Victoria, tire switch number, northeast 910. Let's get me to the other and open it up. This one was one of those ones that was um, in the museum, so it has been repainted. It's been on display for a long time, so I might have to um, check the motor and everything's okay. Yeah, they've got overspray on the um, schematic diagram. It says LG1P. So, you 40 volt into the motor. And this goes to your rate change of your meter. A little um, padlock goes in here. You can't really put an anti taper seal on that. It's a bit big. That folds down and that just hinges off. Nine triple seven nine three seven. 937 it's the same um, serial number as what's on the outer case, so it's all original. Anti temper seal there. There's the hour arm thing. That turns okay. You can see the face turns and I turn this on the hour. That seems to be correct, so that'll, that's all freed up. That's your spring reserve. That's your synchro motor there. High quality stuff, very well made. And that's a magnet that um, blocks the escapement. That's in series of the motor. It's got 211 24. Must be a part number or something. And they open up, 
and that front part slides off and comes off. You can get to the gears and everything. Here's another cover here. Very, very um, thin bit of aluminium that. I can carefully remove that without doing too much damage. I can show you the inside of it. Very carefully remove this. There you go, it's very thin, easily bent. And there's all the gears in there. And there's your clutch. That all seems pretty free. All metal gear train, all brass. There's all the uh, grub screws in there holding everything in place. Very well made um, timer switch. And that's the uh, spring reserve in there that you wind up. 14899. So that's where you wind it up from, and that drives that key. And that key there is the actual um, spring reserve on there. And that's got a little clutch on it for the motor. Yeah, if yours are cords all wired up, got a nice old piggyback El Mako plug top. It's a pretty cheap design, cheaply made, so it's probably at least late 60s, early 70s, this one. All plastic, 250 volt, total loading 10 amps. Catalogue number 18, made in Australia. Put it in. Power on. Look at that motor. Okay, power off. The motor did not turn. Safety first, unplug. It seems. The grease in that motor may have gone gummed up so bad it's just seized it. So I'm going to have to pull this thing apart and give it a good lubrication. So, hmm. Also, another thing when I note when you um work with uh, old equipment like this, especially if, it, especially if it's got a metal case, always earth it for safety first. All right, that motor doesn't want to turn. I'm going to have to um cut the anti temper so unfortunately and get this repaired. Here's a demonstration of the actual um, contacts themselves. Interesting. That motor does not want to turn it harmed, but I turned it off straight away because it did not do not want to burn it out. That'd be very, very, very unfortunate if that burnt out. Alright, I'm gonna have to try and get that very it's gonna be a delicate operation to get this thing apart. And that's gonna come off. They undo like that. And that assembly slides up and pulls out. So you undo these, undo those, and it um, disconnects everything. And this assembly should slide out. So I have to cut this seal, unfortunately. MLX and T. Alright, let's get this thing repaired and lubricated so it moves. Okay, viewers, I got this bloody anti temper seal off, just wedged a screwdriver off and carefully opened it from the back. Got most of the way, but eventually damaged the copper and it snapped. That's a lesson, uh, worries, but unfortunately, someone else has been in here before I have. So, I don't know what they've done, they must have pried up with something to try and free up this motor, because uh, this gear here has actually got six teeth. Uh, this little fiber gear here has six teeth sheared off it. It's bloody unfortunate. I got the motor to free up, but very, 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 very carefully, I managed to get it to uh, free up. It spins quite well now. I'll just very carefully spin this key, uh, fiber um, cog here, very carefully. And these are delicate, as you can see there. Get the camera to zoom out. There's some teeth missing there. A little further on, very carefully, turn this as carefully as I can, there's more missing there. So, whoever um, re-sprayed re this and had it on display must have tried to, uh, attempted to um, get it to power up. And uh, fortunately they were a bit rough with it, and damaged a bloody main drive gear. Which is bloody unfortunate, but I think I may be able to get another one of those. I think, um... Uh, Raymond, Radarka 2007 has a heap of spares of uh, various size fibre um, drive gears, so if I can get one that matches this one, I should be able to easily repair this. 
because you unbolt that motor, it drops off, and that, and under this little uh, plate up here, and that drops that uh, gear out. And I think that's actually pressed onto the um, metal or brass, under the brass itself there, so that, that whole bit has to be replaced. Unless I could find a plastic one the same size and modify it so it fits, I could do that I suppose, but it'd be nice to have it all bloody original. So now I'm going to um, put a little dab of silicon spray just to keep it from um, going hard again. Then we can power it up and watch it go. Okay, viewers, let's see if this thing works, this motor actually turns. Yep, it's skipping unfortunately. Bloody unfortunate. Unless I got that part working, it's going to have to find a replacement for that bloody drive gear and this thing would work. It's just like the um, previous one I showed, just an older model, so just going to, this is a 12 hour version. And all it will do is just, uh, works pretty much the same way, so it's got two extra um, triggers on here. It runs up its own escapement. So this probably would still keep track of time very accurately if it wasn't for that bloody gear being broken. Oh, because the summer was a bit rough for the previously. Yeah, it was never um, refurbished either, so... Someone's obviously had a go at this before me, and they were a bit rough and couldn't be bothered taking it out of its thing and lubricating it properly. So... I'll have to try and find a replacement for that bloody gear. Okay, if yours will... Unplug that safety first. It's going to have to be a long term project till I could source a proper drive gear for that motor, so thanks for watching.